Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Buddy Plays. I'm Buddy and this is the Crooked Man. Uh, this guy right here. I don't even remember what happened last time. Oh, that's right. I was really tired when making a video and uh, it was real boring. <laughs> I remember it because when I was editing it, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't do videos at midnight. <laughs> I should be sleeping. But anyways, uh, if you remember last time, we learned a little bit more about D, I think that's what his name was. He's the uh, illiterate uh, Irish. Uh, he's that illiterate ginger boy. Uh, and the reason I say illiterate is because uh, I don't know. What, I don't know if he was supposed to have an accent, but he's written like he should have an accent, which I feel is weird when you write for a character. I guess I don't know. D slang is okay. I feel like writing an ash word. Uh, All right, guys, we're back. We're back to where we were. Um, yeah, it, it, you didn't. There was nothing that happened last episode. I already read that. Uh, I can't believe I got jump scared by the same thing twice. I don't actually know where else I'm supposed to go. Not that way, that's for sure. Found a notebook scrap. I don't remember if I read this last time. Uh, many hopes were fulfilled here. Many youths were blessed, but I didn't receive that blessing. Left in the dust. I loathe those meaningless days. I definitely did read that last time. Whoa. Hmm. Something, something is going to happen in here. I bet this is where D gets attacked. What? So that's it? Okay. Uh, zero, six, I think. One, nine. Oh. Oh. I did it. Go, 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 go. Oh. A notebook scrap. I knew there was something I lacked, but I didn't want to admit it. My ambitious usefulness wouldn't let me. I wanted someone to say it. I wanted to be woken up. To be told I ha I'm a have-not. Something you lack, a have-not? It's true, there are haves and haves not People who dreams can come true and... Oh. Again? Sometimes... My head just starts hurting. Oh my god! <coughs> I don't know why that freaked me out a bit. Okay, anyways. Gak! Damn! Monster! Why are you chasing me? Gah! Speak to me, boyo. Ugh. Wow, what a... What a tool. The monster's gone. I thought it would kill me, but it left. Damn it. My neck hurts. I feel so sluggish. I haven't really slept since yesterday. I should try to rest somewhere. Yay! Now I gotta move real slow. 9-12 in the auditorium. Crime along... Okay. What does this man want from me? Now he's making me move slow? He's just like, why did you lock me in that room? How did I get out? Yeah. I'll take a little nap. Pushing myself wouldn't be a good idea. Why didn't you sleep on the bus when you got driven out here? It was like a day long trip. Mom, are you crying? Again? Sorry I can't do a thing. I can't even console you. Can't even do a thing. I dr a dream. Yeah, Mom always cried in the living room after I'd gone to bed at night. That's when I was a kid, though. Well, I'm feeling better now. Alright, let's go. Yeah, now I'm walking fast. No more being strangled. Anyways, let's go back to the place where I got attacked. So what is this about? Do you have something to say about it now? 9-12? 
Okay, well, we have a new code. Wait, let's go check that uh, other room now. More of this, like, searching every classroom to figure out what box I haven't used yet. This one. Okay, it's not that one. At least I know there's one up here. I remember making note of a different one, but I can't remember where it was. I don't have a key or something, do I? Did he put something in my pocket? No, we didn't. I finna kill you. Wait. Okay, nothing. I didn't. It didn't seem like it. This one? No. Oh, wait. A criminal behavior psychological approach that notice in the lecture room mentioned this. I don't understand a word of it. Hmm, there's a slip of paper in here. What's this num what's the number? 9981. Cool. We already know where the last four digit code goes to, I think. 9D984. Reminds me of Oh, well, at least I got all the numbers right except for the last one. What did I get? Did it even say? Computer room key. Well, I guess we now try every single door until we figure out which one it is. Not that one. Not that one. Nada. That ain't it, chief. Ah, I did it! Whoa, that garbage can looks interesting. The trash can is overflowing. Looks like a compiled papers. Complicated papers. I don't understand any of them. A fourteen forty two forty six. Fourteen forty two forty six. I'm gonna forget those numbers. Ahem, friends, faculty, staff, I thank you for coming today. I've already we've already Future of Unconcerned Yeah, I think this is the same one, right? Whoa! Uh, what? The laptop, but it wasn't on. However, as valid Valedictorians. There's something I can't help but laminate. It's about David Hoover. Wait, aren't we David Hoover? He was a highly skilled, kind to us all, and admired by pupils and teachers alike. We all expected he would be proudly standing with us this morning to graduate. But our hopes were dashed by none other than the man himself. Hiding behind an innocent face, he's been fooling all of his pupils and professors. He's been cheating. Let me ask you all this. Should he be forgiven? Can he escape punishment for betraying his friends and mentors? Boo. I didn't think so. He should forever be punished for what he's done. To grant his selfish dreams. Stop! You're the lowest of lows. Your dreams will never come true. What are you even good for? Go off and die somewhere, coward. Stop! Ninja Punch! No, I'm not a coward. You're a coward. Huh? I heard it. <laughs> I, I heard a scream. That was you? Jeez, you made me freak. What's the big idea? Huh? Did something happen? Forget, uh, forget it. I'm sorry I startled you. It's nothing. Hey, dude, are you okay? You're super pale. I'm just kind of tired. I came a long way. I haven't slept. It's not true. Leave me alone. I can't be bothered to talk. Got the slow jams going on. Have this. I'm gonna burp. I already had a little, but it's it's an en it's an energy drink. Drink up. I already had a little, but it's an energy drink. 
drink up. What, seriously? I don't need this. I told you to leave me be. Drink it! Jeez, you really look like you need food and a drink. And I'm being nice, so at least accept it, will ya? Alright, thanks, but... What's all this from the guy who was calling me a shady punk? I'm mostly because you look like crap, dude. Come on, it's not like I'm heartless. I mean, I am trying to be a lawyer. Besides, it's fate. Tell tell you what, I would call you shady any... I won't call... Mm. Besides, maybe it's fate. <laughs> uh, tell you what, I won't call you shady anymore. Now cheer up. You could be my client once I'm a lawyer. <laughs> That's a quick turnaround. I'm grateful at any rate. Say, have you seen anyone else, particularly a man about my age? Nope. Nobody. He's who you're looking for? Yeah, though I don't really know who he... How, don't know how he looks. Tell me if you see him, okay? You got it. Doubt anyone would be around here, though. Oh, but can I ask you something? Professor... Professor Andrews always helped me out. His room is on the third floor, but it's got a number lock, so I can't get in. I was thinking the professor might still have some lecture notes for me but around or something, but yeah. Tell me if you get it open, okay? Yeah, I know the password. It's right behind you. I'll wander around some more, then you you look like hell, so don't push yourself. Yeah, well, you got... You, you be careful, too. It, if you see any monsters, get away. Not this again. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've got my knife to defend me anyhow. Smell ya. Maybe it's not bad as I thought. Got an energy drink. Uh, I think I have enough for a 10 minute video. Not that I need a 10 minute video, it's just I feel like that's the perfect time to stop one of these little episodes. You get lots in it, especially since I have to cut stuff out anyways. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please click one of the little buttons down below and I'll be seeing you next time. Make sure you subscribe so I can eat.